Welcome everybody to the warehouse. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, so we're gonna walk you through the empty space. This is kind of just like an empty warehouse tour because we're already starting to get stuff in. We're gonna be building over the next few days in this series and maybe multiple episodes in this. So I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of each area of the warehouse and then I'll kind of go into more detail what we're gonna do. So this front area here, as you saw at the beginning of the video, there's a huge draw door. This is able to be rung up and you could fit literally a car through here, any sort of large deliveries. So that's what this, obviously that's one of the main things why I uh, you know went with this space. So when we come off the cabinets and where the car is going to be in that area, we have a front office here to the right of that, which I'm not gonna show you right now because we did a big truckload of all the stuff from the last studio and it's all in there it's a total mess but that front office is not going to be utilized for much now this area that went right here is going to be the pack and ship for the website which is harrisonneville.com our largest drop ever is coming soon for the site but this area i thought would be perfect because we have some room for some like tall shelves to put the boxes all the like pack and ship stuff and we have a desk for packing as well as we can do inventory photos on this wall right here so i just thought this area would be kind of perfect for that you know it's kind of off to the side obviously we have a bathroom right here which we're going to get into in just a second but over here we have like the internet we have the security system we have some vacuums and all that temporary stuff but i think this section would be perfect for that then we come to where the tv kind of is and this is going to be like a hangout area this is going to break up where the car is going to be parked because there's gonna be a car park there. There's gonna be a couch, a rug. Everything will go here just as kind of the hangout area or kind of another set if we wanna unbox something over by like a couch and something, that'll be here. And I think that is a nice like break up between the spaces. Let me come over here, we have the bathroom. Now, I've done some changes to the bathroom already as well. We did black door handles. We also installed a brand new vanity sink which looks a lot better than what was in there. What was in there was absolutely atrocious. Then we added a new light in here. That was terrible as well. Just a few little things to make it a little bit better experience because I'm gonna be working here for you know years. So I don't wanna have a place that I don't like to go to the bathroom basically. I wanna be comfortable. So we come into the back area over here. There's a few things that you're already gonna see on the side that we've acquired that are ready to go. So this whole area is gonna be filming and editing. So as you can see, as I go back, how large of a space this is. Look how much room we still have and look at all we talked about. So these ceilings again are probably like 20 feet tall. Like look at the amount of space. Now there's a lot of things we're gonna do with the echo and all that, but this corner specifically is gonna be the filming corner. Now, if you can see behind me, we're gonna do shelving, we're gonna do carpet, we're gonna do desks, we're gonna do sneaker setups, all that kind of stuff. All of it is already coming in and we're already starting to work on it. It's a rough breakdown of what's gonna happen in the corner for filming. You guys will see maybe in this video when I start to build it out. Over here, we're probably gonna do like, um, it's like six six foot long shelves. So it's just kind of like a store, like a sneaker store looking shelf, maybe with like website inventory. And then over here will be the editing area. So I have my desk here already. And then we have the couch, obviously. There'll be two desks here eventually. Right now I'm gonna stick with that one desk because it works. I'm trying to slowly build the space out, but that's kind of like what the zones are gonna be. Obviously we have a window in the back. Obviously you haven't seen, we have a full front desk over here, front desk, front office. Now I'm not gonna show you guys this just yet cause it's just full of a lot of moving stuff, but this is a front office uh, kind of receptionist area, which we're not really gonna be utilizing. And some of the other things that we have gone ahead and already purchased and installed and all that, we have full security systems. We have multiple security systems in here, multiple cameras. So we made sure to be smart about kind of that whole thing. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start putting this thing together and showing you guys what's happening. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll see kind of a mainly complete, but this is just kind of like, uh, I would say like a sneaker fantasy factory is what it's gonna be. There's gonna be everything you can do in here. You can skate on these floors. We're gonna have like insane cars. Like it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really cool. And we're all very excited. Nick and I, we were going back and forth. We've been meeting with designers, figuring out the space. So um, let's go ahead. We'll come over here and show you the first thing that we actually did. Uh, I actually put this together myself. This is a garage cabinet setup. So this is going to be essentially, I'm gonna pull a car in right here, whatever car you know I drive, I'm gonna pull it in here and it can be, it can stay here, it can be housed here, or I can you know, take it to my house. Basically, this is going to be like for car detailing. When I pull my car in, if I need to work on it, if I wanna put, you know, take the seats out, if I wanna wash it, this is where all that's gonna be. So this whole cabinet setup, we're gonna have a, a worktop and uh, this is pretty much done here. I've already gone ahead and put in some stuff. So I'm very organized when it comes to that. That's kind of like my, my, fun, my hobby is to, you know, detail my car a lot. And then over here, we're gonna probably do a super huge skate deck wall. I think that's the plan. And then we might add a Neville Racing kind of neon sign here, just for fun. If you guys saw, we did Neville Racing hats. We did a line of those. So let's, enough talking. Let's get into uh, putting this place together. And by the end of this video, hopefully you'll see this place looking pretty sick. So let's do it. 
So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up this section here. So I'm gonna put these up on the wall, get it all squared away. Then we're gonna add, bring some of the other stuff in. So what I've done is I've done, a, I took a huge truckload and filled up this whole front office area with all the stuff so we can kind of just pile it in and kind of sort it out. So what we're gonna do, we'll put these up, run a little time lapse, and then we're gonna move on to the kind of lounge area, sitting area, move the couch, get the off-white rug in, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and set up the tripod. So like I said, we had pretty much all that like done for the most part earlier. I've loaded up a lot of this stuff, brought in my rinse buckets, I have my hoses and everything, my pressure washer over here, and then in here I have like all the cleaning stuff, like a wheel bucket. Got some little accessories that I wanna put around kind of up here, like a uh, my race helmet, um, got my all the different stuff in there. That is kind of the gist uh, for now for this section. It's obviously gonna be used as like, you know, for car stuff. Oh yeah guys, I got these uh, rolling cards for like the inventory, so I've got a couple of these and you'll see them in the background for now, but I'm moving these through. So we've got a few things that I brought over, like we have a sound bar, we have a mini fridge. Now I'm gonna be getting a full size fridge, probably putting it over there, but for now, this will be kind of the temporary setup just until we kind of continue to build it out. So we have a clear coffee table here. This is off Amazon, it's like 260 bucks. Pretty cheap for a you know coffee table. It is a little bit small for this rug, but I think it'd be fine. I don't need anything huge. I'm gonna add some stuff to that right now just to make it look better. For the years I've spent way too much money on coffee table books and now it's paying off because I have a place for them. So I think that's the majority, or no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some sneaker cases throughout once I get all those in. But uh, for now, this will be fine. Obviously need to make it look nicer, but now we're just, we're kind of loading everything in. So I have that section. Let's grab another sneaker cart. We don't have much for the office area. What we need to do, we'll move a few more things in here for like the set. Let's just move the set stuff in and put it over here. And then we need to run to Home Depot and get some, or Lowe's and get some tiles and stuff. So these are some of the shelves that are going up over here. I got quoted to build some shelves on the side and it was 15 grand. So I was like, let's go on trusty old online shopping and buy a couple of these. So what I think we're gonna do is kind of set up a temporary set back there and uh, kind of have that for filming for now until we go ahead and get kind of like the new carpeting and the new shelves. So maybe we'll just kind of quickly set up a temporary setup for uh, some videos we're gonna do because start, you know, getting content out. I think this is gonna be a temporary set right here. Just kind of like, looks decent. We've got a few videos, like we wanna film another one today, we have another one from tomorrow, and then uh, just a couple more that we wanna get out before we kind of fully do this. So this is probably the current state of this for now. So the next thing we'll probably do is work on the pack and ship area, and then, uh, which I don't know if we've talked about yet, but pack and ship area, and then from there, we'll kind of go to Home Depot and get this. All right guys, so we just got the Lowe's. We're gonna go ahead, go in there, grab some of these tiles for some sound deadening around the set area, and then we'll go back and kind of put together the new set because we mocked up a set, but let's go ahead and see, see what we can get in there. Yeah. I think that kind of looks like the floor color, so it looks blend in better. I'd say do the gray, because it definitely will blend in. So, we uh, decided to go with this color. It's a dollar, 16 per square foot. We're doing 225 square feet, 10 of these. We like this color better than that other one, and uh, it's cheaper, so this should work. We might need more in the future, but I think it'll work in like a 15 by 15 foot space. All right guys, so it's been about a week or so. We filmed a couple of videos here. We had this rug here, which did not look very great. It just didn't match. We've got a couple different things going on now. Um, so we're gonna be rearranging the whole thing. That was a temporary set. If you saw, we filmed a big unboxing of the crate. That was insane. And so now that we've moved past that, we have some time to kind of 
shuffle around. Now, what we've gotten is these uh, these carpet tiles, basically, which we're gonna put on the floor. I was hoping it'd be a little bit thicker for sound deadening. It's it's okay, but they're like self adhesive, so like the bottom has adhesive on it. Basically, gonna map it out, lay them out, see how it looks, and then that will kind of be the base for this corner. So we're gonna move all this stuff around. Luckily, a lot of it's on wheels, and then we'll be able to finally kind of start putting together that final kind of set. So we got this whole area set up. Um, the tiles are all right. They stick to the floor and you know, they kind of shift around a little weird, but they're good for now. I think it'll help with the echo a little bit. And uh, this is going to change because we got the long shelves that are gonna go over here, but I'm trying to figure out, I don't wanna just rush in down and make sure I do it right. But this is kind of like a rough set for now, but luckily it's very interchangeable. We can move these out, we can reorganize all that stuff. So that'll be happening soon, but I wanted to get kind of a baseline of this down and kind of see how we're feeling it. And then uh, maybe in the future we change it, but for now, I think it'll work pretty decent. And uh, it didn't take too long, it was like 200 bucks for that. I qu got quoted a lot of different things and it was very expensive, so this will work for now. All right guys, so we have these Sims set up pretty much done. Now I don't know if more needs to go onto this. There was no instructions for it, so I literally had to put that together just by my knowledge and you know thought of how it would go. I don't know if I'm gonna use this Logitech racing wheel and these uh, pedals, because I've heard bad reviews on them, as well as I've got to figure out how to connect everything, but for now, this is pretty dope. I'm glad we got a little setup in here. So just be cool to play some racing games, some Formula One, some iRacing, stuff like that. Shout out to homie Steve the Gamer who's on my podcast. He does a lot of like GTA 5 roleplay, but he also does a lot of gaming stuff. And uh, he had an extra sim, so I bought this from him. We're actually trading some sneakers for it. So I'm pretty excited. We got the full seat, we got the harnesses, the steering wheel. I might get an upgraded like steering wheel and stuff soon. The TV's there, we gotta get the cord for that and all that, but I'm very happy with how this came out. All right, guys, so it's been a few days. The whole process of this warehouse has been about th almost three months now from getting it to waiting a month to getting all the HVAC installed, all this stuff. It's finally to a point where we're ready to film and everything's in here. So let's go ahead first check this out. This is gonna be the tour of the place for now. This is probably about 60% done. As you can see, we have my Porsche GT3 RS pulled in right here. Looks amazing with the setup. Just to be able to pull it in, now eventually this wall over here is going to have a bunch of stuff on it like skate decks. It's gonna have probably a Neville Racing neon sign. We got a lot of cool stuff going. Obviously we have the cabinets, which you guys saw pretty more complete now. We have the wash buckets and all that. Have been able to get some good washes here. So I'm very happy about that. So that's basically when you come in. Now, as we make our way farther, we have to the right, the pack and ship area, which you guys kind of saw me putting together. We have a couple of shelves here. Obviously we have, you know, a bunch of different boxes for shipping shoes, shipping whatever is ordered from the website. Then we have like all this packing slip, tape, all that. So that's our, this is our little pack and ship area. We also have some boxes here. Here's a little like sneak peek of something maybe in the future you guys might see I don't know we'll see we got a package from them it's I don't know what's in it so other than that this is the main area so right here is the hangout area as you guys saw 
we have the Urban Home Couch, which I told you guys the pricing, I think, is about 2,000 bucks. Pretty expensive, but still a very nice couch. We have like seats here. We have like all the different magazines, Hypebeast magazines. Now in this area, it's pretty much complete besides a TV stand here. Now we're probably just gonna get some sort of Ikea white TV stand. But for now, we have a bunch of shoe boxes there or clear cases with the sound bar, the base box, whatever you call it, some of the skate decks, and then obviously the keep off rug. I'm glad we kept this. I bought this a long time ago in, in a trade and I'm glad I kept it because it's like perfect for this space. Got a 75 inch TV here. Pretty solid, it looks tiny on this wall, but it'll look good once we have the TV stand. Temporary mini fridge. We have a full size fridge coming uh, probably in the next week or so. And then little accessories, bear bricks. And that's kind of the lounge area. It's pretty simple right now. We have the uh, family style to go. This is happening May 19th, which this video comes out a few days before. So don't miss that if you missed my last video. But as we come over here, got some waters, we got some snacks and stuff, goldfish, sun chips. Then we got like a little, like uh, this is gonna be fixed up more in the future. It's just got like uh, basketballs on it. It's got all of our camera equipment, the different lenses. This will all be switched up and fixed eventually. I just want to put this here for now. We'll probably hang some stuff up here on the ceiling. And then obviously the set we added, it's not done. It's like probably 40% done. On the wall over there, we have long like seven foot shelves that we're gonna be installing and putting on this side. And then we're gonna kind of eventually put that together. It's just very rough right now because I don't know which direction I wanna go. So once we get those up, I wanna take my time and we'll get that going. So obviously we have all the random stuff here that is gonna be put into it. All the shoes, all the bare bricks, all that kind of stuff. And then this over here is obviously empty. This is probably the most bare bones part of the warehouse right now. I have my one single desk here, which works fine and I love it, it's great. It's a standing desk, but eventually I want something a little bit bigger with my different monitors. And then this corner is just full of storage. We have more cases from Rejuvenator. We have a bunch of shoes in a box and the shelves. And then, so this is all gonna be you know, fixed up eventually, but that is kind of the majority of the space now. It is in a really good functioning area to where we can you know, film, we can you know, just hang out here. We've been watching some Formula One races here. So I think that's gonna be something that we'll continue to do in the future and uh, work on this more. But for now, I'm very happy. So I think maybe what we'll do is another episode when we do the shelving, when we get a bunch of TV stands and, and do the skate deck wall, and then eventually you know, show all that. But for now, I think this is, I'm happy with the space. And uh, again, this has been months in the making and glad we're finally able to do something like this. And thank you guys for watching, for allowing us to be able to do this. Like I said in the car video, I just appreciate you guys allowing the ability to just do this. When we started making videos, I was going to h and I was buying $5 t-shirts to show you guys how to layer. And I couldn't afford to keep those t-shirts for the videos. I literally would either have to return them or sell them or whatever, because I couldn't afford to keep them. So now we're at this point where we have a warehouse and uh, hopefully I'll be able to share some good content with you guys and you guys get to reap the benefits of this awesome warehouse because I think we've got some good content coming. So if you have any ideas for this space, what we need to do, let us know in the comments. I'm already hearing it put in a, a quarter pipe. We've heard it 20 times, every saying put in a quarter pipe. I don't know, maybe in the future, but insurance, I'm not trying to get sued out here. So uh, yeah, that is gonna be it for the uh, official first warehouse tour. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you for making this possible. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.